Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In this screencast, we're going to talk about how Android applications do background work. So what do I mean by that? In an Android application, one of the most important things is that the app pays attention to making the user interface responsive. So when the user clicks on a button, something should happen. The, there should be a dialog box or the screen should change. Um, you know, so there are things that take a long time to do. And if the app gets bogged down doing those things and doesn't continue to respond to user events, it seems unresponsive. I suspect that you have probably used apps like this where, you know, some of the time it works fine and then from time to time you hit a button and it seems to freeze for a few seconds and nothing happens. So it's a very frustrating experience for users. So Android provides a way to schedule long running work, work that's going to take long enough that we don't want to wait for it to complete. We don't want to do it um, on in the main activity. We want to uh, delegate it to the background so that the application can continue to render that activity, continue to respond to user events while this is going on. So the way we do that um, in Android is through something that's called an async task. And this is an advanced topic. Um, this is not something that we're going to emphasize for this particular MP, but I want to show you a couple examples of these and show you how our application uses them. So we have two slow things that we want to do in the background. One of them is upload our file to the Microsoft Computer Vision API and get the results back. The other one is downloading an image from the internet and store, saving it in the gallery. So let's see both of those tasks in action. Let's open up our uh, web UI. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm going to go over to my browser. I'm going to go to Chrome. And I'm going to go to photo of a dog. Find a picture of a cute pup here. Let's look at this one. Um, make sure that I can, no, this is not a good one. How about this one? This is a very cute dog. Okay. This looks like one that's okay. So this is one way to get photos into your application, which is that um, if you launch the download dialog and then I long press on this, I can paste something in. I hit OK. And this is a long process. You'll see that it's being downloaded. And there's two things that I want you to notice. One is that whenever you do something that's going to take even a few seconds, you want to show the user a waiting indicator. And we do that here. We launch what's called a progress bar. Um, the name bar is a little deceptive. In Android, a lot of times you've noticed these are circular. So this is what's known as an indeterminate waiting indicator. A bar gives the user idea, some idea of when things are going to be done. In a lot of cases, we don't know. And so we use what's called an indeterminate progress bar. The app isn't certain how long it's going to take to download this picture. Okay, so now I've got my photo. You'll also see that I've saved it to my gallery here in case I want to use it again. So that's convenient. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it to the Microsoft Computer Vision API. Now again, you see the spinner running on top of the picture. Um, and in this case, that call failed. The reason it failed, and this is something you may run into, is that I have not added my API key in the correct place. So there's a file here, uh, and we'll go over this when we talk about the Microsoft Computer Vision API in that screencast, but that's why uh, there's no result. But you did see that while it was busy doing it, there's this other uh, progress indicator. So there are two tasks in the tasks.java file. These are not things that we expect you to understand. There are several hundred lines of code in here. Um, one of those tasks is called download file task. That downloads the file and saves it locally. The second one is called process image task. That uploads it to the Microsoft Computer Vision API. Where do those get triggered? So the first one gets triggered. There, there's a function called start, process, start download file. And what start download file does, let's see if I find it down here, it creates this dialog that you saw where it asks the user for input. When that input is received, if the user hits OK, it creates a new download file task and launches it. When that download file task completes, what happens? When it completes, it doesn't, so when it starts, um, 
and again, this is this is advanced stuff, so bear with me here. Um, when I start it, one of the things I do is, let's see, where does that happen? Oh, it, it starts the progress bar right here. So it finds the progress bar in the app and starts it spinning. That's so that the user knows that, that there's an action that's taking place. Down here, what I do is once the I have the image downloaded, I turn the progress bar off and eventually I call add photo to gallery on the activity. And that's actually going to, uh, well, I do two things. First of all, I update the current bitmap so the user can see the image and then I add it to the gallery so it could save properly. There are similar actions on the process image ta uh, task. So again, when it starts running, so there's a function called on pre execute that gets called. It finds the progress bar and sets it spinning. Once it's done, so this is the work it's actually doing. It's actually building a query for the Microsoft Computer Vision API. When it's finished, um, it calls this uh, function to turn off the progress bar. Um, and this is a case where um, it uh, worked and then off the, oh, if there was an error you can see that it's generating this log message that we just saw in the logs reminding me to put my API key in the right place and also turns off the progress bar down here. So it's just a brief introduction to the idea of a background task in Android. Um, an important way that we can accomplish uh, actions that might take a little while like uploading a photo to the Microsoft Computer Vision API and receiving information about it or uploading, uh, downloading a file and saving it locally.